two at twelve thirty. I don't want to be late. Hey guys, Tech Comics here. How you doing? Uh, I'm shooting a video today for Amazing Murphy here for his uh, reaching over 400 subs. Um, I'm pretty sure he's way over that by now, which is awesome. Um, now, shot this video three times today, so it's kind of funny. The beginning of this song by Dean Martin, Mr. Dean Martin himself. Uh, you know, he says take whatever. So yeah, that's how I feel like I'm doing. But I want to make sure I get this right because you know, Amazing Murphy here. He's such an in his name, it's like in his name, he's amazing, man. The books that he has, the knowledge that he has, you know, and just all around great guy, man. You know, I, I there was no way I wasn't going to do this video for him for support, you know, because he's supported me uh, a lot on some of my videos where if I made a mistake or I wasn't sure of the book, he helped me out. And I'm not, that's not to say nobody else has, but this is a video for Amazing Murphinator, so I just want to. You know, make sure that I'm giving him the props that he deserves because this guy, he's amazing. Him and my brother both started around the same time and they've gotten to be really close friends. So that's awesome. And I got to get to know him through my brother. You know, and the guy's got amazing books, man. So uh, without further ado, let me show some of these books. Hopefully I don't make a mess or make a mistake. So without further ado, uh, here's a Batman and Wonder Woman. Put that in there, right? It's uh, done by Mick Gray. Awesome dude, man. He uh, straight signed my books for free. He's a great guy. These are great covers, you know. He does such a great job where he signed them. Um, here's another one. Right there. And I figured, you know what? For a guy that I consider to be a classic act, just all around great guy, you know what I mean? And the voice of YouTube, I had to play some Dean Martin for the man, you know what I'm saying? I love D. Martin. Yeah, so, uh, sorry, I had to put a piece of paper there because it was sticky, but the same artist, Mick Gray. I love that cover, by the way. <laughs> I gotta replace the bag. I know, I'm bad. This is my favorite cover of Batman to date, and I love this cover. It's not to say anything bad about Greg Capullo or Greg Snyder, but I love this, man. Mick Gray, sick. <clears throat> and then I got to meet uh, James O'Bear. Semi Crow, number one. Yeah, all these guys are great. These artists, man, I tell you what, they're so nice to just walk up to and talk to and, you know, shoot the breeze with, you know. And if they're not too busy, man, they'll really sit there and talk to you about their books, you know, which is great. Uh, this one, um, I actually bought it and already had a signature on it. So I'm not sure who signed it. But, you know, I wanted this book. Of course, it's not the number one, but I'll take it. Um, it does have the, the certificate on the back, which is pretty nice. So I bought this like two weeks after the movie came out. Um, and then I got these two. I can't remember the artist's name because I didn't get to meet him, but my brother did. So my brother had him sign the book for me. And it's The Walking Dead, number one. Uh, this is right at the Comic Con that we went to. Yeah. But he signed there by the gun, which I thought was cool. And I believe he was charging like five bucks or something like that. So hey, bro, I still owe you 10 bucks. By the way, AG Surfer is my blood brother. You know, we came from the same mom, same dad. So. <laughs> Cause I have, I have people out there right now I'm calling brothers because I consider them to be like a brother from another mother. And you guys know who you are. <sighs> yeah, get that one. Uh, this is uh, Mike Zek. I love this cover, man. G.I. Joe. You know, of course he did Punisher too, which is awesome. I got those books signed too. Um, and I believe I have this one too. This one signed by Randy and Mike Zek. So I'm going to try to get this one slabbed. I'll be going through CBCS because they do that, uh, you know, authenticating the signature. You have to pay a little bit more, but at least that way when you get slabbed, man, you'll say it is the artist. It is the signature of the artist. Uh, here's one. Um, I do have this one slab, but this one's a raw copy. I have it signed by Randy Emerald and uh, Danny. He was the editor. He was the artist. And it's a foil cover. So I have three copies of this. Uh, I have one that's slab with the two signatures on it like this. And then I have one right here, which just has Randy, which is sweet. And when he was signing this one for me, which he signs for free, by the way, and Randy and Mike Zach are some of my favorite artists, he had to rub real hard right here to basically get it to where the signature would stick. So that's cool. You know, I was wondering why he was rubbing my book. I thought he was trying to get a genie to come out. <laughs> but no, that wasn't the case. 
Uh, and then I have some Chris Claremont. I have a bunch of my Uncanny X-Men signed by Chris. Because he was signing for free, dude. So I was going to pass it up. I brought all my Uncanny X-Men that he did. Um, and this is where I was making, my mistake with, making the mistake with the names. Um, so this right here is a Dennis O'Neill. And I had him sign it. Make me number one. He was a cool guy too, man. He was sitting at a table and no one was really going up to him. And uh, he was signing autographs and he just asked to make a donation to uh, the veteran, the Wounded Veterans Fund, which I had no problem doing, let me tell you, man. I don't mind donating money to, to a great cause like that for our veterans because, you know, I love our veterans, man. My dad was a veteran, you know. I love veterans, man. And, and, and anytime I see a veteran or I, you know, I see anybody in the service uniform, man, I'm always stopping, shaking their hand and thanking them, you know, for what they've done for us, keep us safe. Uh, this one was also signed by, um, oh my goodness, by, by uh, Dennis O'Neill. Sorry, it's just because this one is, you can barely see it. It was in yellow and he signed up here too. I had him sign twice. Uh, the mistake I made was not having him sign it twice. It was the fact that I had him do it in yellow sucked man so don't ever use yellow guys but i have another copy of this so i'm not too worried i'll definitely get that done uh, he also did this one for me too which was cool this book's a little banged up but you know what i wasn't gonna pass up getting this one signed i'll get another copy someday um he signed this one too for me it's cool Sorry, one. i love that cover by the way um and here's another one um i do have i believe i have the collection of these of the movie Prince that they did. That's such a sweet where he signed it there. I love that man. Um, and then uh, this one, I had a whole bunch of artists sign it. My brother told me to get this book because he had it and he was going to go get all these artists to sign it like Art Adams, Joe Rubenstein, uh, Steve, uh, I'm going to pronounce it wrong, Laidless, uh, butchered that, sorry man, and uh, Brett. Anderson and Bill, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that, but you can see their signatures. There's Rubenstein. He usually signs really big, so that was cool. He's able to fit it right there. Yep. So I got five signatures on this one book, which I will get it slabbed through CBCS. Um, and then uh, here's some uh, DC books I had signed by Kevin McGuire. So this is for you, Marky and So Comics. Yeah, that's sweet. Justice League number one, man. And here is uh, Justice League number two. McGuire. <clears throat> now, I don't know why I don't have number four done. Maybe I just couldn't find it, or maybe I don't have it. I can't remember, but yeah, here's number uh, three. That's so cool. He signed it right there, man, right on Batman's cape. What's cool is, you know, I had ideas where I wanted him to sign a book, like right here, and he did that for me without even hesitation. You know, he's like, okay, cool, man. And he signed all for free, and I, I threw some money in his donation box. But right there, he's like, hey, let me sign this here. I said, dude, it's, that's awesome. Do it. So he did it for me, and then he signed right there on the belt of one of the lanterns. <laughs> Number five. Yeah, he's such a cool guy. Uh, and then he signed up here on the rock for me, too, which was cool. Shazam's holding up. About to hit him. <laughs> that's just cool. Take these down real quick. Okay, the next ones are. Uh, I only have two Adam Hughes books signed, but they're good books. Not bad. Let me get a close up. Oh, I'm sorry. There it is. <laughs> yeah, Adam Hughes, man. I found that one in the wild. I was so stoked to grab it. So my brother started telling me about Adam Hughes, man, and I was like, okay, I gotta find some Adam Hughes books. And then I found this one, and my brother's like, dude, I believe that's Adam Hughes. We couldn't find the signature, but my brother was right, man. AG Surfer, right again, man. We got right there. Bam, got signed. I believe he was free. I believe I got charged, but uh, either way, you know, I don't care, dude. Adam Hughes. Uh, this one I bought also. It was already signed. Uh, it says thirty dollars on there. Signed by uh, Greg Land. It's a variant of Super Wars, but uh, I couldn't find a signature, so I believe it's in the inside the book. Or, yeah, it's on the inside of the book. But I got the certificate right there. So I only paid fifteen bucks for this book, man. So there's this guy up here. He has just a warehouse full of books, and on Saturdays and Sundays they're all half off. Can't go wrong with half off. Uh, this one here, I cannot remember his last name, but his first name is Joe. Uh, when I saw he was going to be at this con, dude, I went out and bought all these books. And uh, they weren't that expensive either, like three bucks or two bucks or something like that. But uh, he signed it right there. And he was such a cool guy. Super pro! He was such a cool guy, man. Him and his wife and his daughter were so nice. They were showing me all of his old uh, 
other graphs of uh, comic books and things like that and pictures that he drew, you know, on the big sheets of paper before they uh, put him in a book. Yeah, he was such a cool guy. So yeah, I got like a collector's, collector's item, first edition, and then I got a, oh, it's a reprinting of the awesome Origins issue, so that's cool. First and second printing. Yeah, boy. Uh, and uh, Ron Lynn, sign this one for me. Daredevil. Now, um, I'm not sure if I'm going to tell the story on this right, but when I took this to him, he was stoked. He was excited. He was like, just blew him away. And I think it was because this was either the first issue that he ever drew for Daredevil, or it was the only one that he ever did. But either way, he was happy, and I was happy to get him to sign it. Um, I got a bunch of art atoms too, but here's one, the uh, Daredevil, you know, and if that looks a little bad, it's because, you know what, that was my fault, man. I was giving art atoms so many books to sign, I think I gave him like over 50 books, dude, and let me tell you, for a man to sign over 50 books for free without any, like, oh god, here he comes again, he was totally cool with me the whole time, he signed all my books for free, so, you know, if his signature looks a little off sometimes, it's because, man, the guy was tired, I, I made him work that day. <laughs> Yeah, that's a cool one too. Um, here's a Mike Zek. I got a bunch of Mike Zek too. Love Mike Zek. I got the uh, Punisher series uh, one through, it should be one through four, but they did come out the fifth, fifth issue and I got it all signed. Uh, the only ones I don't have signed are uh, two and three, but I have those at my comic store, which I'll buy and get them to sign me someday. Here's a Chris Claremont. I, have, I pretty much have all my Uncanny X Men that Chris Claremont did, I have them all signed. All of them signed. So here comes another one. And any issue that I saw Wolverine Saber Tooth fight, man, I grabbed them because they had some of the best battles. Uh, there's another key issue right here. I believe this is when Storm takes over the X-Men. I believe this is when he leaves and does the X-Factor thing. I believe. It's been a while, guys. There's another one, Chris Claremont. Yeah, I was going to show all of my autograph books, but did that take too long? I, I did that three times today, and let me tell you, it was over 25 minutes. Do you want to do that? Okay, Chris Claremont, this one's probably reaching about 12 or 15 minutes, so yeah. But hey, either go big or go home, right? Another one. Chris Claremont. Okay, so last one I'm going to show real quick is another Chris Claremont. It is a Savage Land book. I still gotta get a bag and board for this, but this book is cool. I mean, I you can see there's no crease down there, down the side of that because I don't crack this book open that often. And when I do, it's just about that much. You know what I mean? Oh wait, but here I wanted to show this for Biggie's. Look at that bondage, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so yeah, again, I wanted to shoot this video to, to really show support. You know, when I win, that's cool, but I really wanted to show support to an amazing channel by an amazing dude named Mason Murphy Nader. Uh, dude, you got some great books, man. I love what you show, I love your content, I love your personality, man. You're just an awesome guy, all around guy. And uh, please everybody go out there, you know, and, and if you can, shoot a video for him, show him some support because, you know, I know I know people will because I know a lot of people out there love you, man. You know, you're, you're definitely doing something right and you got the right personality. And you know, you help so many people out in this community with your, uh, knowledge of, of books and stuff and there's a lot of other people out there that do the same thing too so I want to thank all of them but like I said this is about Amazing Murphinator man and I just want to congratulate you again on your subs dude that's so awesome I mean you, you definitely deserve it man and uh, you know please keep putting up videos I'll keep watching man and please keep commenting too brother because I love your comments man um, <laughs> and thanks again man and uh, yeah everybody please go show them some support for this vid alright Tech Comics rock on Oh, don't know if I shut it off. Nope, I sure didn't. Okay, here we go.